I'm in heaven, I'm in heaven, and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and do I have rhinestones? So I took advantage of a uh, marketplace, Facebook marketplace uh, lot of rhinestones and jewelry forms that was... Uh, in the town next to me, and I was able to meet with Kelly um, at our local donut shop, Tim Hortons, and uh, and a pay and uh, uh, and exchange these. This is just a small number, uh, eight of the thirty-four jars of rhinestones I received. Um, in the colors and sizes are amazing. So I have rhinestones uh, SS forty. And they are mostly full jars, blue, sapphire, um, emerald green, ruby, uh, topaz. There are size 30s. Um, not necessarily all the same colors, but mostly the same. Mostly ruby, emerald, sapphire. Size 20s, and you can see how full that is. Um, there are some mixed jars of clear... Uh, sapphire, peridot, ruby, topaz, and um, smoky topaz. There's sizes, um, this is size 13, size 12, size 9.5, and, and PP13. Um, so just an amazing a lot and as I said there's a total of 34 jars and I won't make you envious by showing them all to you now in addition to all these beautiful rhinestones yes that was my singing at the beginning um, if you've read my profile you may know that I'm a, a choir director and a mezzo-soprano who's also dabbled a little bit in opera um, when I was growing up I wrote a song I want to be a country music star so life has changed a little bit over time but um, I still love to sing and with all of that um, all of those rhinestones there were um, new old stock I guess you would say of um, jewelry forms that the rhinestones go in so these are all the silver tone um, screw back earrings and you can see um, how lovely the designs are the metals in great condition let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here cuz I'm my focus is not so great there we go so uh, there's one design there's um, just, these are all separate pairs of designs uh, you know another design so I can uh, either uh, use these to uh, make earrings I can use them to make charms I can sell them to people who want to repurpose them there's some lovely snowflake ones I love snowflake uh, snowflake designs filled with rhinestones so I'll uh, have to find something to do with these anyway this was um, just blew my mind um, the uh, quantity of rhinestones and um, Kelly had said to me no oh, not the jars aren't all full but there's thousands <laughs> of rhinestones here and uh, so I may be setting up a little business just to sell rhinestones so here's what well, let's see one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 um, sets of vintage earrings. And some of these have a price, like 15 cents a pair. So you know these are vintage. Um, even the labels on the jars say things like um, 20 cents a dozen. Now, you're looking at at least a dollar fifty U.S. for a dozen, probably for uh, less than a dozen. I'd have to go double check my prices, but um, and these are beautiful 
never been used rhinestones just gorgeous I don't know um, the maker but at this point for restoring jewelry um, I'm not too worried they're beautiful and they're all organized I got all these wonderful little jars so in addition to the silver tone um, earring designs then there were all these lovely um, gold tone again screw back all screw back earrings so there's one design. Um, you had to be they're they're all slightly different. I was busy pairing them up, and then my husband was saying to me, no, no, that's a different design. There's another another design. So uh, we have some of the snowflake designs, flower designs, and there were, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, again, 15 sets of vintage screw back earring, you know, new old stock. And uh, when she, when Kelly said jewelry forms, I thought, you know, a few pieces. But when we started pairing everything up, because we tend to be kind of, um, <laughs> want to be organized that way, it was amazing. Then there were the pins. Never been used, beautiful, um, silver tone, there we go, silver tone, uh, maple leaf, rhinestone pin, never had rhinestones in it. I could do whatever I want with it. Um, beautiful condition. Um, there's a guy bowling, and if I look, and I can try to look at the price. Um, <clears throat> you know, he's got pin. 40 cents. He's got the old fashioned kind of pants that would have rhinestones in them for a bowler. Um, just beautiful. A ballerina. Again, um, ready, all just ready for the rhinestones. Um, a poodle. So, just a gorgeous looking poodle. This giant, giant flower pin. Um, of course, there's no there's no maker's marks on these, um, but somebody obviously um, had a business doing these kinds of things. Uh, this one particular flower pin matches one of the pairs of earrings. Uh, it's got a price of 25 cents on it. Um, there's this lovely lyre. That'll look really pretty once it's got pins in it, and there's but it's in both gold tone um, and in silver tone. Um, a large version. This is, I would have thought, was perhaps uh, uh, designed for a uh, dress clip, but it's actually a pin. Nice smooth back. This one says A1 on the back. Uh, has a little stamp right about there. We can see that A1. And again, another one in a dress clip design. No rhinestones in it. Look how shiny it is. Um, so that'll be fun to put rhinestones in. And one more that uh, matches, a silver tone one that matches uh, one of the earring designs. Finally, this little um, red bug, fly something, 30 cents for the pin at the time. Whoever, I, my heart goes out to this person who uh, had the jewelry. So very organized, just the kind of thing I need. And then... One last uh, little collection of things. Um, these are the uh, loose rhinestones that were in the bottom of the box. And then there were actual kits. Um, and they were in um, cellophane that was just crumbling. Um, so we put them into new packages. So here's a set of earrings with the rhinestones. So these could be done as, um, let's see if I can focus in for you, there we go. So these could be done with the yellow rhinestones provided or um, the color could be changed out and done um, with other colors. Here's another set of uh, earrings with, uh, that had blue rhinestones. 
Um, and here's a little pin. Um, and it's missing... What is it missing? One uh, SS24 uh, round piece. So, uh, but again, that'll be just uh, fairly straightforward to uh, to repair. And it's got some beautiful little um, textured glass stones as in addition to the square stones that are in there. They're not all necessarily the, well, that one looks pretty good. It's a funny color. Then there are these two cross kits. These are not silver. They're just silver tone. But they are lovely crosses. Uh, one that came with uh, clear stones and one that came with pink stones. I think I'll just take this out to show you the cross design. So there's the cross design. And that can be filled with, cro with uh, stones. So vintage pieces. Um, and in ex amazing condition, except for the fact that the cellophane was uh, deteriorating. And uh, beautiful rhinestones. Uh, lots of fun with rhinestones in my future. Uh, as if that wasn't enough, I'd like to show you my uh, recent rhinestone purchases. I was looking especially for these kind of iris, this kind and size of iris stones. I've already used one, so this was a package of six. And um, because it was a basic, sort of straightforward uh, shipping, um, I purchased two other sets uh, of mixed rhinestones. Whoops, there's one of my ones belongs in there. Um, so this was just a mixed set of Navette's um, six-sided, some sort of tulip shape, lots of different colors. I've already used a couple of these. So a nice little set of rhinestones. This was another mixed set of rhinestones and I've already used uh, some of the tiniest ones. Um, I didn't know I was going to be getting the, my, uh, my big I'm in heaven lot of rhinestones when I ordered these, but that's fine. Uh, I've already used, as I said, quite a few of these little uh, the little ones in this package. And then this was my thank you gift. A gift with thanks for the order. Again, Ann Rudge, A-N-N-E-R-U-D-G-E at hotmail.com. And uh, her, I've already used a ton of things and I've only uh, just got into these um, yesterday. And I've purchased, what, three times now from Jan's Jewels. Jan's getting... Uh, and the first time I ordered from her, I just needed a few things, but she has a, a $20 US minimum. And so I was able to order vintage angel pins, crystal angel pins that were gold plated for my choir members. So I ordered um, 20 of those with my first order and got my rhinestones with that and it was uh, very affordable. Um, and then each time I've gone to order since then, I've had no problem <laughs> spending $20. So this is my late, latest order. Um, you know, everything from Peridot to uh, octagonal um, sapphire colored um, Swarovski Navettes that are clear with no foil on the back. Some larger uh, 31 SS crystal clear rhinestones. I now have a bunch of 30s, but 30 was the size I needed. I needed one large, uh, this 48 SS clear, and these got a beautiful cut on them. So they're anyway, lots of more gorgeous rhinestones. And then I had a um, a pin that I needed to fix. And I'll, anyway, so this is my latest thing from Jan. Um, Jan's Jewels or Jan's Jewelry Supply .com, something like that. I had this um, pin. And it was missing two of its plastic yellow flowers. I haven't cleaned all the glue up yet that's also on it. And I had to replace this rhinestone because it was yellow. But I ordered these lovely, uh, they're called smoky topaz. They're like a little petal. 
and this is something that Jan was clearing out these little topaz petals and I I wanted to put something on here to um, restore this particular pin but I didn't think I was going to be able to find these plastic petals so I think that these little yellow topaz stones have um, added a nice dimension to it and they're kind of like a bud or something um, but it just it fills it in without detracting from those beautiful bright yellow plastic flowers so I'm quite pleased with how that turned out um, and I guess that's about it for now I'll show you uh, some more things that I've prepared as I get going this is one of the things that I'm working on um, I've cleaned, uh, taken out all the rhinestones that were missing. Looks like, looks like there's one there, but it isn't. It's just nice and shiny. Um, it's missing the pin on the back, so I'm going to fix that first. And then I've decided rather than just making this a straight um, white rhinestone bouquet, I am going to be using two colors of purple stones that I have from Jan. So I have these um, these light uh, Alexandrite, Swarovski Alexandrite small navettes and these large darker navettes and I think it's going to be quite pretty. I don't know what I'll do down here. I could even put a pearl in down there. Um, but having the light ones in the small ones, the dark ones in the large ones, I think uh, that'll be quite attractive. And I think it just I'll do clear rhinestones for for the leaves and I just have to decide for that one little spot down there. So that's one of the things I'll be working on in the, the next uh, few days, I hope. Well, thanks from Pat Hood and Passions and Pastimes and as I said when I started out, I'm in heaven, I'm in heaven and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. Who? You don't need full jars of rhinestones. Look at this, look at this plunder. I'm so thrilled. Sparkly, sparkly rhinestones. Bye for now.